Hey guys, how's it going? Um, I'm going to do a quick little room tour, kind of, um, just to see. I'm going to do another one eventually, but I wanted to do one really quick with my iPhone, because with an iPhone it's easier to get closer and it zooms in on things. GoPro's not too good with it, and I didn't feel like, you know, busting out my good camera. So it's too heavy, and I would have to really clean up in here, so I just wanted to make a little time capsule, more, more for myself, but, you know, so you guys can see where my collection is at the moment and you know it always changes i sell things i buy new things sometimes i'll miss things and i'll buy those things again so <sighs> so yeah anyway i just you know felt like making a little collection video or my room video or my this is where my office is so i'll, I'll take you guys through everything and uh, let you know um, but eventually I'll make a really good video with a good camera and you know go into stories and stuff like that more you know in detail <laughs> anyway let's let's get this going sorry guys all right so um let's start with this corner here in general here's a little overview again this is all like a one take video so there's not gonna be like music or anything but uh anyway I'll bore you with my babbling here's my uh, Batmobile um, I am still on a hunt for the right Batman for this Batmobile, so I can put him in there. So, yeah. I think I got the Batmobile for a birthday present from Maggie. Here's Angela. Uh, got this Megazord from Lee Wen, my buddy. We trade and do stuff with Power Rangers. Uh, by the way, like this whole Amiibo collection I have here. All these I got, you know, during the Amiibo craze, and I still have an unboxed, whole huge box of them that I use with my Nintendo Wii. But yeah, each one has a story, I've been in lines, I've been in trades, and <laughs> this, uh, let's see, yeah, that Kirby, uh, this Pikachu were the first ones I got, so. But anywho, enough of Amiibo talk, uh, let's continue with this side. So here's my Ninja Turtles with Splinter on the roof there. I customized this whole van. Those of you that know, like, the door was all pink. I detailed every little detail on there. Like, the front grill was just white. But anywho. Again, I don't want to go too into detail into things and bore you guys. Here's my Knight Rider. Back to the Future. There's a uh, good old Jeffrey. <laughs> Enough said. <laughs> uh, I'll open the glass so there's no glare. But yeah, I also have these small guys here. Um, as you can see on that side, I'll get to that in a sec. Um, as a kid, I collected cars mostly. My dad traveled the world and uh, always brought me stuff back, then I bought stuff as I kept growing. But yeah, this is the first shelf I have. Um, let's see, this TARDIS, I don't know if you can tell, it's signed by David Tennant. Maggie had it signed uh, at a Comic Con. This is my Dalek that uh, a friend of mine... Oh yeah, it's off. But um, I had to fix the little mechanism in there. It's original from um, from England, I think. It's a BBC product from 60s or 70s, I forget. Anyway, <laughs> I'll go into that later. Is uh, trying to make this a quick. Oh my God, that was so creepy. <laughs> he just went on like you were there. Holy crap. Wow, you must be possessed. All right, so as the goosebumps wear off, Jesus Christ, that's creepy. Yeah, I did push the button. I guess there was a weird delay. <laughs> Jeez, Daleks, man. No. Hmm. I wonder if he'll go on it anyway. That's a mystery for another day. Um, Jetfire, I got that from Mel. There's a long story behind that, but he's a really good friend for hooking me up with this with this guy. Um, also got Soundwave from uh, Mel. Uh, 
That's a transfiguration bus. I just think it's cool. I have no idea what the story is with it, but uh, I don't know. I like it. Look at it. It's cool. There's my Beast Wars. Pretty much complete. I still need the swords for him. They're like blue. And I forget what I need for him. Anywho. They look awesome, man. That's why I have them. Like, that, that's pretty much all I have for Transformers. <clears throat> I like them, but it wasn't a part of my, you know, nostalgia or growing up. I did see a few episodes, but, you know. Um, I did watch Beast Wars. I remember that. <sighs> Alright. Next shelf. I got that guy from Leland 2. Got the little Godzillas from Bruce at the market. Um, he's the Polaroid Bruce. Sells cameras and video games and pins. There's my Ukrainian Iron Belly from Harry Potter. I'm Ukrainian too! Wee. Uh, let's see if this works. I'm gonna flip this over. Hopefully it flips over for you guys too. Alright, here's the bottom shelf. I got some Leonardo's. I, I collect turtles very minimally and mostly it's Leonardo's so I try to keep my collection not out of control you know so yeah these are my sorry guys I can't see the viewfinder so I'm probably shooting nonsense but anywho that's the bottom shelf on that guy so yeah these are my toys on that shelf let's move this along yeah I'm gonna speed this up guys I'm sorry all right, Back to the Future, my ultimate favorite trilogy. Got the laser discs there, got some figs there, got these uh, micro machines, which I love. Got this for uh, from a really good friend of mine, he's an artist. At any convention, Comic-Con, you'll see his art there. He, he's the guy that does that. This I had signed by Christopher Lloyd, that guy, <laughs> at a Comic-Con where I met him and it was awesome. So yeah, I'm very, very proud of that. Probably top three of favorite things in my collection that I'll never sell. Uh, there's the bottom Back to the Future stuff. Just got this from Dan, or Dino Rider Dan from uh, the flea market. I don't know what that is. If anyone knows, let me know. I, I'm sure it's some kind of promotional thing. It, uh, it's a wind up, not a pullback. There's the barcode. But anyway, it's cool. I've never seen one. He hooked me up with that for the price he bought it. Just a couple of bucks. NES games, some little things up there. That's right, my favorite Disney cartoon. Alright, this shelf. Got my big Voltron that's barely in there. Alright, giant Robocop. Uphold the law. Yeah, that's right. Ed and the small, uh, the metal one. And my bottom shelf are my plushies. I don't collect plushies, I don't like them, but I do keep it to this. So, Fraggle Rock I got all from Dino Rider Den like a year or two ago. Uh, got the little Godzilla with Maggie, got my Leonardo from my childhood. Um, got Fox, whoops, got Fox there. Oh, let's flip this, it's easier this way. Here we go, Star Fox. So yeah, my mom gave me that when I was like 12, the Donkey Kong. Yeah. And this got this guy at a Comic Con. Little weaved or whatever. <sighs> okay, moving on. Top shelf got my communicator. White White Tiger Saba dagger. Got my small Power Rangers collection of video games here. Greyhound bus, just because I think it's cool. That's right. You gotta have the most rarest, best. <laughs> Star Wars character in your collection. Alright, these guys. I mean, there's stories behind all of them, but um, pretty much got this, this from Leland. That's from Leland. This one I got at the flea market. I did go to get this to the Comic Con, and by the time I got there, they were sold out. So, um, yeah, got that. <laughs> so I'm happy about that. Got the medals guys if you ever get these don't take them out of the packaging because they just won't stand there The, the feet are rubber it kind of sucks, but anyway got this a while ago at Toys R Us Enough said about all that My Toys R Us exclusive uh, sprocket from uh, Fraggle Rock If you see in the back I have uh, some of the legacy Power Rangers from the movie and some of the rarer ones I might sell some of those later, but for now it's all good. 
I'm keeping all of the ones that are unboxed for sure. Again, there's a story behind each one. You guys can actually go to my videos, go to the toy hunts and see how I got all these. Like literally there's an episode or two about every one of those um, figures. Uh, this thing I had um, as when I was a kid in Canada. <laughs> it was awesome. Um, I remember hunting for it and finally finding one and buying one. I think I sold it before I even went to uh, a high school. But anyway, <sighs> got my Star Fox. It's complete. Everything's in there. Got the box from AJ in the trade. These are some of my games. I'm sure I'll do a video about my games, but as you can see, my video game collection is limited to these two shelves. And then I have some games in the living room with the systems. I also got a Retron 5 recently, so I no longer... Um, so I sold the consoles to pay for rent, you know, for life. I can still play the games, so I'm happy with that. I'm not a purist, it doesn't matter. Although I still have a Nintendo and um, NES. I have a Genesis right here with the Sega CD. Those are the two that I kept. Alright. Genesis. All those comic books are for art. I, you know, cut them out to make the 3D art. I'll show you later. Um, henceforth, I shall move on. This is a mess that I need to figure out. There's stuff... I, I need, like, a cabinet or build a structure to organize all this, but uh, I need all this. These are some of my uh, recent pickups. This has to go out to a buddy of mine who's buying it. That's my miscellaneous whatever bucket that's a Toys R Us price gun that I'm gonna hold on to for a while. <laughs> I got it in the dumpster at Toys R Us. Uh, picked these up um, at the market. Alright, moving on. I'm Ukrainian, that's all a whole different story. It has nothing to do with toys. Here's my Hot Wheels that I like. And of course this one, I love that one. Okay, Power Rangers corner guys. Moving along. 12 minutes, right? I hope this isn't too boring, man. Jesus Christ, I'm sorry. Alright, these two Green Rangers flip heads. One is original, which is signed, and the other one is the Repop. Uh, a friend of mine gave me the box for the other one, so now they look the same. But uh, yeah, I met Jace Jason David Frank, and he signed the one on the left for me. So I'm happy about that. Alright, there's my uh, Quantum Saurus Rex. I love this thing. Recently got it at the market for like five bucks and then um, it was missing almost everything like the rockets, the fist, the uh, the tail in the back there. So um, I completed him and I am definitely, I'm selling him even though he's cool. Um, I need room for other things. Tor, uh, I pieced them together from like three different tours. Uh, some pieces are from pieces Leland gave me. Some pieces are from the one that I already had it, and some pieces I got from Rusty, another friend at the market. So I have Tor here, and I put the White Tiger Zord in there. In the back I have Imaginext. I customized the T-Rex a little bit, I don't know if you can tell. Everything that's shiny, like the teeth and all the bolts, that's all uh, painted silver. And uh, I did a bunch to that. I don't want to go into it too much. My uh, Time Force. Time Shadow, I forget this guy's name, he has nothing to do with Power Rangers, my uh, Train Megazord, love all those. Alright, so what do we got here? Oh man, sorry guys, I really should have turned the lights on in here. Can I? I can, woohoo! You guys win. These are my original Megazords. Megazord, it took me like two years to piece them together. I don't know if you guys know this from my videos, everything I, I buy very cheaply, so it has to be very cheap for me to buy it. Otherwise, I have patience, you know? It all comes around, all this stuff was mass produced. But yeah, all these guys are complete. This is a shelf that I'm definitely keeping together, you know, not selling. That's from the Build-A-Figure. Alright, White Tiger Zord, this is all Legacy, and uh, Titanus. I have my Thunder Megazord um, Red Dragon back there. Got my original Green and White Ranger figures. Got a Morpher for each one of the original coins. Except for uh, White Tiger Zord. I'll find one soon. I customized this thing to look silver. and shiny. <laughs> anyway, put that there for now. Alright, below that is Dino Charge. I love Dino Charge. I watched it recently. 
and you know I'm not a, a young fella but it was it was fun to watch I enjoyed it watched it with Maggie too um, fun stuff I, I love the Megazords obviously so I have those there on the bottom Shogun Megazord the uh, Samurai I forgot the Omega Zord I think and Ninjor and we have the little wheel uh, Zeo robot let me see if I can flip this again for you guys there we go there's the Zeo guy Ninjor Shogun I got from AJ and I got the helmet from uh, Rusty at the market that's how I do it I buy it cheap and then slowly piece it together by trading things that I don't need you know and that's how it goes around I do not like to spend a lot of money on this stuff all right before we get to here here's what's in the back here that's where I keep all the like small things in the corner hope you can see some of it I flip this again. <laughs> I really hope this video doesn't suck guys I'm really sorry but it's like I said it's in a it's an experiment I'm doing this for myself just so I can film a much better video later all right middle shelf are the villains not all of them, but the ones that fit and the ones that I really like the most aesthetically. That's who's back there. And I think that's a good way to fill the corner between these two if you put it in a corner. To make little shelves that, in the corner <laughs> to fill it. And it all looks good together. There's my Imagine X Megazord. And again, my project. As you can see, he's all white. That's still uh, a work in progress. So that's a custom I'm working on. Also, this is a custom I'm working on, which I'll get to. It's made out of all of Tommy's Megazords. Whoa. All right, next shelf. Green Ranger helmet. Got lucky, got it at Toys R Us. And I think I paid, well, no, I got this one I got from uh, my buddy, uh, Star Wars Mike. So he went to Toys R Us and picked one up for me. At a later time, I found another one and I sold that one to Leland, so. Um, but yeah, this is, I love this thing. The Legacy, I have my Legacy Dragon Zord right here. Focus. There we go, sorry about that. Communicator, I wonder. No, I don't, oh, it is on, sweet. Gold coins, the coins I got from uh, Mike, Mr. T, New York's finest, check his uh, um, YouTube channel out got this um <clears throat> dragon sword coin come on focus uh from leland i think it's some kind of exclusive from some kind of a con or whatever i, I don't care all right my battery's dying so i'm gonna make this quick my collection of dino charge t-rexes i got all the colors i'm very proud of this i love it took me a while to collect all of them but i have them and i am happy look how cool they look man that's awesome and the bottom shelf is, uh, <clears throat> we got the Quantum Saurus Rex. This is the smaller version that doesn't transform much. Well, it kind of does, but it doesn't look that good in T-Rex mode. I uh, got my Samurai Shinkano. I want the Japanese one, so as soon as, when I get that one, I'll sell this one. This is just a placeholder. And have my Mystic Megazord back there. Uh-oh. Uh, Mystic Megazord down there in the back. All right. A tragedy has happened. My Leonardo fell and uh, his leg broke off right there. If anyone knows where I can get like a replacement part or how to do it, uh, because it's really hard to move this ratchet um, to put it back in place for him to even stand if I glue it. So, unfortunate. This was like the gem in my collection, but I'll get him fixed. Anyway, that's my window. Small pop collection. As you can see, a very selective uh, group of pops because I really don't want to get crazy. Maggie has a collection of um, Harry Potter and um, what else does she have? Uh, she has Harry Potter and Doctor Who. So almost more than that amount of pops, but that's in the hallway. Anyway, uh, we got some religious stuff that's personal. This is my books, I guess maybe pause if you want to see everything I have it's just books I like books I want to have handy or books that have meaning all right so on top I have VHS collection just gonna go through that real quick you know the essentials that I would actually enjoy watching on a VCR 
that's the tapes I want to keep. So that's what you're looking at, an actual collection that I watch from time to time. Proud of that Blockbuster uh, jewel case. And my Power Rangers cannon. It's my little Ukrainian corner here. My grandparents, Ukrainian thing. Uh, Lviv, which is where I'm from. Put some figures here in the corner, Butterfinger Mustang. This plate is awesome, I love it. When I was 11, um, I saw it in the magazine and I wanted it. And um, I finally picked one up at um, on eBay for like eight bucks. I think uh, a year ago. The Shadow. Back to the Amiibos. Of course, Back to the Future poster. I had that for over 10 years. All right, middle shelf. This is like miscellaneous stuff that just needs to be somewhere. So, got my Silent Lob stuff. Got the pop from Andre, new friend at the market. The Nickelodeon Ren and Stimpy stuff, that's from Toys R Us. So is the Crash Bandicoot thing. Imagine next line, I customized them a little bit, as far as the details go. Porsche from like 1998. This is a custom I'm still working on, so I'm not gonna go in too much into that. Pul um, Hulkbuster is also gonna be a custom, but that's a time away. It's my Wally and Metroid, they're buddies. Got this from Tim, It's uh, if you guys know it's from uh, Pulp Fiction. It's the little kangaroo that uh, Bruce Willis leaves his wallet and keys in. It's all my art supplies, whatever. This is my corner where I edit, so I use all these. I um, I post Blue Bus Dave's videos, and uh, I edit all my videos here, so I technically do two channels. <laughs> so, oh yeah, I love this Metroid thing. I built that when I was in high school. Sorry, I'm trying to move this along, I'm sorry. Quick tour of the cars, Back to the Future, BMW. A lot of these I've had since I was a kid. Some of them are newer. But yeah, when I was younger, I had a basement full of these things. I used to collect 118 scale. And it just got out of hand, so I had to uh, just keep the ones I really liked or had memories with. So yeah. Just a quick overview of those. There we go. So yeah. <clears throat> All right, editing, whatever. There's my steady cam. Uh, I have my film equipment in the closet. Um, let's see, my hats, <laughs> uh, hoodie, another Angela thing that I'm holding on to. I really like there. Uh, art supplies back there for future projects. Um, let's see, this is where I keep all my <clears throat> uh, Megazord blueprints. <laughs> so yeah, I like that binder. I don't know, it just looks cool. I love that classic photo. All right, let's see. Let me show you what I have in my hallway here. Bye, Jeffrey. So, yes. All right, this is just where I keep all my 3D art. These are all my pieces that I made. Check out, um, I have a whole view list on YouTube that you can look at these closer. My Metroid piece. That's another piece I made. Uh, let's see, this is a custom Mustang I made. I made, um, it's like a Shelby, Shelby Cobra mixed <laughs> with obviously the Ecto-1. That took a lot of time. I made this, this is from American Graffiti. Some of Maggie's collection back here. Uh, yeah, that's the kitchen. <laughs> We're not gonna go there. Let's see, living room, I don't want to show you too much, but DVD, Blu-ray collection, stuff like that. I might do a tour of that eventually. There's a uh, Maggie's painting, and I did the one on the left. Yeah. Oh yeah. There's a uh, Maggie's Harry Potter mystery figures. We just put the TV here, so it's um, sorry about that. We'll have to do a little of Maggie's thing. <laughs> Breakfast Club there. It's signed by my professor from film school. Uh, he was a producer on that. But anyway. Love this show! That, that's a whole other video. I'm gonna get out of here for now. <sighs> Alright. Okay guys, so that's it. I kind of almost gave you almost the whole tour of my house. But yeah, this is my uh, collection. Let me just do a quick whip around. Give you the atmosphere. 
if only I thought this phone was gonna help me with the focus issue. Instead, it's like always going out of focus. But yeah, guys, I, I I love this room. This is all collection of things that make me feel good. You know, I'm not gonna go into all that bullshit again because you know th this is um. <sighs> I come here after a day of hard work. You know, I look at all this stuff, it makes me happy. It brings back memories, you know, I wanna play some games, I play some games. I'm too tired, I just sit around and look at all these toys and, you know, remember when I first saw them or the stories of how I got them or, you know, it's it's all just, it's, I don't know, what do you call that room? I, I'm not calling this a man cave. <laughs> it's a, you know, like a nostalgia room. It's a little time capsule of things that uh make you feel better about yourself and about life and, you know, just, you escape from stuff and crap in your life. Like, put that on. <laughs> I guarantee you, you'll forget about stuff when you're watching Ninja Turtles on tour. But anyway, um, okay guys, I'm sorry. I hope you enjoyed the room tour. I will make another one that's more detailed with my big camera and make it slow, maybe put things on the turntable to show you toys. But, uh, I am planning to do, like, toy reviews, but of toys I have, so I'll just, you know, show things and tell you stories about it, and, um, you know, that, it's all it is. It's just showing toys and being happy about it. It's just weird. I don't even know what to say anymore. All right. <laughs> Enough of this, uh, blabbing my mouth. Thank you for watching my video tour. Thank you for watching my, uh, my video tour of my room collection. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. I hope uh, my babbling didn't freak you out. And um, yeah, keep an eye out for future videos, guys. I have a lot of stuff coming, and uh, uh, yeah, this room's gonna keep changing. So I'm gonna make a lot of stuff. Like I'm selling some of those bigger Megazords, so they won't be there. But I'm, I'll keep getting other things, and you know, it always changes, man. It's shuffles. I'll see you guys in the next video. I'm gonna shut the fudge up, and see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching this room tour. It's a bunch of stuff with me talking. I need to shave. Next time you see me, I won't be as homeless looking. Peace, guys. Splinter is freaking awesome.